So there are six different ways to put hair up. Let's decide what, let's dis discover what those are. So ponytail, chignon, bun, French twist, braids. Sixth is gonna be freestyle. So everything is either one of these or a combination of these. Freestyle means you're just kind of grabbing hair and organically pinning it up. So depending on what your goal is, I think any of those or one of those are great options. But really breaking things down, so when somebody says, I wanna look like this, I start looking at the hair, what is it made of? Is it from a ponytail? Is it half up? Is it half down? Is it a chignon on top? Is it a chignon on bottom? So those are the things that I look at. Uh, next, I wanna make sure that I'm prepping the hair the best I can. So. I used to go in and just do a thousand curls on the head and little tiny pin curl clips and then curl the hair as I'm literally freaking out about what I'm going to put the hair up into. Uh, and it was just busy work. So it would take me a long time to prep the curls. So what I think about first is the 80-20 rule. So if I hide or put away 80% of the hair, that means I only have to style 20%. That's interesting, right? So let's say I have a ponytail style, and I know I'm gonna be doing a bun or something like that. Just put her into the ponytail right away after I've prepped her hair. Now I only have to style the 20% that's left. That's not as overwhelming when I'm staring at a head of hair. And also, if I know that she's gonna be in a really tight ponytail, I'm not gonna waste my time curling all of this before I put it into the ponytail. If I want it to lay smooth, lay it smooth right away, then curl with purpose. So. I'm gonna go over what's called an, uh, a six section set. This set's gonna be really easy to put in the hair. I could bang it out and it curls the whole head like I've done Hollywood waves in six sections. Sounds pretty crazy, but it really works well. First things first, I prepped her hair because I had the luxury of shampooing her with the um, Volume Envy Extra, and then I let her air dry. So I'm gonna go through now and prep her hair with a blow dryer uh, to make sure that we can get that uh, the hair smooth. If I don't go in and smooth it out a little bit, I think I'm gonna have to struggle a little bit getting the hair to look as clean and polished as I'd like it to be. So here we go. There's that way you can see that. There we go. All right. So when I'm prepping the hair, and if I don't have the luxury of pre-washing, which when we're doing events or fashion shows, that kind of thing, I don't get to wash them all the time. So I'm gonna use a product that I love. This is called Dancite. So I could spray it on dry hair and just mist. This is gonna do a couple things. Hydrogen, the water in this product, uh, the hydrogen bonds are broken, so I'm able to reform them. And it's giving me a little bit of hold. So I'm gonna clip this up out of the way. I'm gonna get my tray over here. There we go. So I'm gonna just start in the back here and I'm gonna smooth down that texture. I wanna make sure it's nice and clean. If we remember, hair is elastic. There's elasticity to it. Have you ever done hair where you've overstretched it and it won't hold a curl after? I've done it myself. So what I wanna make sure is that I don't overstretch this hair. So I'm using a paddle brush. And I'm gonna smooth the hair. I'm not using a lot of tension. I'm just using heat to smooth out the fabric. I'm blowing the blow dryer almost parallel to the hair because I want to close the cuticle down. If I blow into the hair, I'm going to make it fuzzy. I want to close that cuticle down the whole way. So this could be done really quickly. This should not take you a long time. Also, I'm not using, again, not a lot of tension. I'm just prepping the hair slightly.
just to release some of those extra bends. And I'm doing the same thing on the side. I try not to prep with just water because that's going to take too long to dry. So Don Cite has a little bit of a drying agent. It's not going to dry the hair out, but the product is going to help to dry where I'm getting the hold and control out of the hair. So here we go. So we're going to divide this mannequin like a basketball. So a part down the center, a part ear to ear, and then I'm gonna do triangles off of that radial parting that's ear to ear. So I'm gonna do the parting so you could see. And I'm gonna pre-section them. So all I have to do is rock and roll. So I'm gonna leave these really loose so you can see them. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you here what it looks like after I get all these partings in. People ask me all the time, is this truly what you do on set? And the answer is yes. The next question I get is, one, two, three, four, five, six. The next question I get is, um, can you do this if somebody has a lot of hair? And the answer is yes. Here we go, sorry I'm off camera. So again, just like a basketball. Triangle here, up at the top, here. One in the back, two other sides. So three in the back, three in the front, all pie shapes. So I'm gonna start in the back here. And this is usually where they're gonna have the most amount of hair. I'm gonna use my Infinium 4 to set. Now a little trick. See this spray? That's like a little mini blow dryer. So if I wanna keep everything smooth, I'm gonna blow with the grain of the cuticle, not against it. If I blow against it, I'm gonna make this really fuzzy. So I wanna keep everything really smooth. So I'm gonna let you see profile of what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna over direct everything up in this section. I've combed the hair up. So again, combing the hair up, I wanna keep this cuticle closed. I'm gonna take my inch and a quarter. Actually, let's do an inch. My inch curling iron. I'm gonna hold everything up high. And that's pretty important. I wanna curl where I want this curl to live. So I'm using over direction to create lift underneath. 
I'm gonna place my iron right at the parietal ridge. That's the bend of the hair. So the smaller the curling iron, the smaller the, the tighter the curl. The bigger the curling iron, the bigger the curl. So notice that I am holding this completely parallel to the floor, so horizontal section. It's not tilted either way. I'm holding that at the base. There we go. And I'm letting that heat up. So question is how hot is the iron? It depends on what you're doing and the kind of hair. She has medium density. She has probably a formation uh, two hair. Um, and she doesn't have color in her hair. So I can have it this right now. I have my iron at about 400, which is great. If she had blonde hair or highlights, I would, I would use probably about 350, 345. All right, so I clipped that section right at the base. I've kept everything at the scalp. Everything is tight to the head. Now I'm gonna work in this back triangle. And we're repeating this all around the head. Even if they have tons of hair, this works really, really well. People ask, is this something where you would break off into more sections? And the answer is no. If I want a big Hollywood looking blowout or curl set really quickly, the idea is to do it quickly. So if I start breaking this into subsections, honestly, it's gonna take me really, really long time to do the hair. And I don't wanna do that. So my, uh, my iron is parallel to the floor. I've heated that up. I'm keeping everything intact. Everything's horizontal. And I'm pinning at the base. So I'm gonna do this all the way around. So it ends up while well, these curls look like a tabletop. So I'm gonna do the side so you can see the side. Let me get this bang out of the way. One inch iron. I'm just heating those hairs up a little bit just to get to heat some heat on there. I'm placing the iron at the parietal ridge. Everything is sitting horizontally. I'm wrapping the hair around the iron and my iron does not move. I'm not moving it in away from the head and close to the head away. The iron is staying stationary. If I overwork the hair with the iron, it's gonna go flat. And I'm just being patient. I want to make sure I feel the heat on the outside of the curl. If they have a lot more hair, it's going to take a little bit longer to heat that up. The most important part of curling hair, there's two parts, heating it enough and even more importantly, letting it cool enough. So here's half the head. I'm almost done with the whole noggin. So I'm going to just continue to spray with the grain using my Mason Pearson brush, my mixed bristle flat brush here. Get those little baby hairs up. Smooth that underneath. I'm gonna place my iron at the parietal ridge, tongue open, and I'm flat wrapping around that hair. So just letting that heat. So with introduction and everything, we're at about 14 minutes. So why I'm saying that is, I'm almost done curling the whole head of hair with me talking about what I'm doing. 
at speed, I could put a whole head in curls in about 10 minutes, which really comes handy when you're doing a whole bunch of people in a set like this, in like a Hollywood set. So I'm heating up. I just moved to the next triangle. Everything at the parietal ridge. Wrapping it flat, horizontal to the ground. I, there is no tilt in my iron, nor is there a tilt when I section or when I'm clipping it up. Everything's sitting completely horizontal on the head. Okay, there we go. Clipping that away. Now, all I have is the very front. So, here I am in a subsection. So I have two options. Because of the way this sits on the head, I want a little bit of lift. So I am gonna subdivide this in two. There we go. If I roll this curl forward, like I've rolled everything else. So everything's coming up and wrapping away from the head. It's not coming up and wrapping towards the head. We're wrapping away from the head on all of these sections that are not the bang. That's really important. See how tight that curl sits to the head? That's because it's wrapped up and around. It's not doing this and wrapping towards the center of the head. In the front, we can do either way. So if I roll this forward, when this sets, I'm gonna have like a Veronica Lake, old Hollywood kind of a vibe on this. If I roll it back, I'm gonna have like a 90s Cindy Crawford kind of vibe. What's fun is the Cindy Crawford vi uh, 90s vibe is happening right now, so let's do that. So spraying my Infinium 4. My objective is to get the widest part of the cone of spray on the hair, not the smallest part of the cone. When I spray it, it comes out in a cone. I want the biggest part of the cone spraying the hair. Otherwise, it'll re-wet the hair, and I don't want to re-wet the hair and then put heat right on it. Here we go. So this front triangle divided in two. I'm gonna wrap, keeping the iron at the base where I want that to live, wrapping it on base, letting it heat. This mannequin doesn't have a lot of hair, so it doesn't take long for this to warm up. I'm leaving it in its coil. If it unwraps, that's fine. You just wanna get it back in the coil as soon as possible. I'm gonna do the last section here. I want as much lift as possible, so I want this to sit on base. So put the iron where I want that curl to live, and I'm just flat wrapping it, the ends, and keeping that tight. Notice how my iron isn't moving up and down and up and down, it's just I'm placing the curl where I want it to live, and then letting it heat up. All right, so I'm gonna give you a close-up look here. So these are all the sections, the six sections. And then this front one is divided in two on top. The rest of it sits like a table. So if you don't have time to let this dry or to let this cool, I'm gonna show you a little trick. You could either have your diffuser on cool, or if you have a screen on the back of your blow dryer, I'm pulling the hot air off of that hair. The heat is gonna keep the hair soft. I wanna really cool that down. Again, the thicker the hair, the longer it's gonna to take to cool. Don't rush that step. She doesn't have a lot of hair. It's okay to take it down. I'm gonna take it down in the order that I put the hair up. 
if you notice when I take this out, the hair's wanting to stay up in those coils. That means that set is done really well. So the back here, I have no, no clips in them. I'm gonna take them out of the sides. The polymer that's in that hairspray is holding that hair the way I need it to be. So I'm gonna start shaking out this back. Then the sides. I'm letting that front cool a little bit more. Okay, now let's take this top out. Notice how I'm shaking it out first. If I get a brush to it and marry all the curls together, I might be missing really great opportunities to find a really cool style. So if you see how much texture and curl is in this, and honestly, with six sections, it took me, we're at now at about 20 minutes. Again, at speed, 10 minutes to, to put it in, five minutes to set. And now I have this beautiful curl in the hair. If I brush this out, I'm definitely gonna have the big Cindy Crawford kind of a style, which I love. So that's a six section set. I'm going to leave this texture in here because of the upstyle that I want to do on her. And I'm going to do that next.